everyone, I'm Miss Jocelyn, a teacher from Little Dot Mighty. In this video, we'll be looking at the E component, which is ending of our RASE strategy. If you've been enjoying our videos and would like to be kept updated on our new releases, do make sure to like and subscribe. While it may seem like the easiest component to tackle, since it is often the shortest, many students do struggle with concluding the answers satisfactorily. Hence, I would like to share with you three mistakes you should learn to avoid if you wish to craft a nice conclusion for your oral answers. First, do not conclude your answer on an irrelevant note that does not link back to the question. Sometimes, students may provide brilliant ideas and develop stories to answer the question, but they present a conclusion that is totally unrelated to what the question is asking for. Let us take a look at the following example by student Joe. Do you help out with household chores at home? Yes, I do help out with household chores at home. Once, I was out playing with my friends the entire day and totally forgot about watering the plants. By the time I reached home, the plants looked dry and dehydrated. When my mother came home and saw what had happened, she was enraged. Seeing her incensed expression, I quickly tried to salvage the plants. Thankfully, the plants recovered and regained their bright colours in no time. In conclusion, I learned that I should not be out playing with my friends the entire day. As you can see from the example, student Jo's ending does not link back to the points she raised in her response. Furthermore, it does not have any relevance to the oral question at all. The question seeks to find out about student Jo's experience with household chores and not her opinion on playing with friends all day. Secondly, do not merely repeat the oral question in your conclusion. The purpose of a conclusion is for you to signal the end of your answer, state your main points and leave a positive impression on your examiners. Hence, by merely repeating the oral question, you're really wasting your final chance to impress the examiners and clinch a few more months to help you bump up your oral grade. Instead of reiterating the oral question, you should consider these steps. First, Restate your response and link back to the oral question. Second, come up with a final reflection, advice, or recommendation. An example of an advice for the oral question you just looked at would be I would advise children to help out with some simple and safe household chores that they find manageable. Last but not least, do not introduce brand new points in your conclusion. More than halfway through answering the question, some students may realise that they have forgotten to talk about certain points in their response. As a result, they may choose to introduce the new points in their conclusion instead. Worse still, they may go on and on with elaborating on the new ideas. This is extremely confusing to the listeners and may also dilute the focus of the previous points they have made. Taking all three common mistakes into consideration, this would be a good ending to the hour question we went through. In conclusion, these are some chores that I help out with at home and I think they are fairly easy to do. Hence, I feel that it is important for me to be responsible in carrying out these household chores diligently so that I can lessen my parents' load and stress. Before you go, here are a few more tips for you to take note of when it comes to concluding your oral answers. First, students often forget about the oral question by the time they conclude. As a result, they may unintentionally come up with a conclusion that is totally irrelevant to the oral question. Hence, do be very mindful and try to remember the question for as long as you're answering it. Second, never end off your conclusion with informal filler phrases like So yeah, and that's it. In fact, you should not end off any sentences with these informal filler phrases at all. Lastly, some students often wonder when they should smile when they're answering an oral question. My suggestion? Smile when you're done with the conclusion. All in all, I've talked about a few things that you should keep a lookout for if you wish to craft a nice conclusion for your oral answers. I hope you find these tips useful and will keep them in mind for your oral examination. Have fun learning! Bye! If you would like to improve on your stimulus-based composition skills, click here to check out our little chatterbox online course.